Fight fair, fight hard. Touch him up. All right, we're starting round one. one. Joe Marola in the right out. corner. Looks straight out with a front tip. Right away, Joe reaches for the clinch. He has got a little under over. Chris Wagner breaks them up. Teep right away. Now, this is both fighters' debut fight. Yep. And Joe is keeping his hands low and wide, which I wouldn't think is a good policy right now. Seven really, you know, attacking. Joe, you know, clenching up right mm -hmm. away. Which is a smart thing to do. You get somebody who's a little bit wild, a little bit shorter, you can kind of slow him down a little bit. Big, big jab just landed by uh, Zev from yep. Church Street. Right low kick right low kick. landed by Joe. <laughs> he can't throw spinning elbows yet, fellas. Yep. Chris Wagner has given him the warning. Zev is going straight in and setting up his combinations. Yeah, nice combinations by connecting. Zev. Joe is trying to Joe's use his picking. teeth to kind of like yep. back him away with his kicks. Oh. Three kicks in a row blocked by Zev. Blocked and returned. Um. Zev now throwing a shots to the thigh. Chris Wagner breaks him up. Zev doing a good job yep. of staying active and mixing up his boxing. A big right hand lands by Joe. <laughs> Chris Wagner, uh, no double leg takedowns. <laughs> He's going to warn you. He says, I'm going to warn you. Not on 10 seconds. So again, Zev is, is, was staying the aggressor, landing some big shots, some big power shots with his boxing and mixing up his boxing very well to end the first round between the debut between Joe Marola from the red corner and Zev Chirac from Church Street in the blue. Pulling it off enough. the floor, and, and, and that was uh, what Chris Wagner was warning You'll him about there. You'll notice Zev did not even take a chair that whole time. He's on the bounce the whole time in the corner. Yeah, it's coming out very aggressive. I mean, yep. um, you know, he, re he really, really wants this, I mean, as both fighters do. Joe now trying to use his, his range and his kicks a little bit more. Zev backing Zev's him up backing into him the up, corner. Backing him up. Big teep that lands there. Now what you see uh, Joe doing is he's, when he was kicking, he was leaning back a little bit to stay away from Zev's punching power. Nice uh, return by Zev. Yep. Nice spin on Joe's behalf. Very good. Yeah, it shows balance and control when you can spin your opponent. And that does score very high. Leg kick lands by Joe. Joe using the cross block now in the clinch. Oh. Zev with the body lock, Chris Wagner breaks them up. Nice, good, good plumb in the clinch. Very strong position that Joe has there. Joe's definitely started to find his stride and what's working for him now. Got to keep his hands up a little bit higher, though. Uh, Zev is actually pretty fast, and he gets in there pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And he's finding his angles too on those punches. Yeah, he's using. He's going upstairs, downstairs. Good, good leg kick there by Joe. Good body kick, parried. One thing that's, that's going well for Zev is that he does answer back right away. Yep. And that ends our second round. And then when he gets into the clinch, keep him in there. Nice teep right away, as you were saying. Yep. And he goes right back into the clinch. Yep. Now, what he's probably going to want to do is spin himself off the ropes like so. Uh-huh. Good call. He's 
Sev is really good at blocking those kicks, but he, once he gets into the but clinch, he's got to. He's got to learn to be able to bring the body down because he's a shorter guy. Yeah. You see he's kneeing a lot into the thighs. You have to be able to break the posture of your opponent to get him down to where you can hit the body. He's had good blocking, though. He's had good mm -hmm. success with his blocking, his parrying, even checking kicks. It's not really, do you see that often with somebody with a debut? You know, they usually take a lot more leg kicks, but you know, he's, he's been able to parry a lot of uh, Good those combination. Kicks. Yeah, and good boxing on, on Zev. Nice big teep lands there by Joe. Well, uh, what Zev did there was very good too. What he did was he, he, he got into the clinch and he closed the distance so that um, Joe wasn't able to knee. When the action starts again, Joe comes in with a teep right away. Leg kick, body kick blocked. Overhand right, lands, not so flush, but does land by Zev. Zev using his jab a little bit more now. He's gotta come in behind it. Nice. He's been able to, to, to block and parry those kicks really well. Now Zev using his clinch, he has the body lock. Both fighters exchanging knees to end that round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have our winner. Judge A sees this 28-29 in favor of the red corner. Judge B sees this 29-28 in favor of the blue corner. Judge C sees this fight 28-29. The winner. From New York City, Joe Marula! So like Gavin was saying, the, the clinch and the control in the clinch is probably what won that for Joe.